Vertical Villages is an exhibition of new artwork by Ruin Grouper Art Lab, who are an Indonesian collective, and Keg D'Souza. Um, and they were working with international students who live and study in Sydney CBD. Looking at their experience um, of the urban environment and also of their domestic spaces as well. Ruin Grouper Art Lab are a collective of Indonesian artists. Uh, they're based in Jakarta and they're primarily interested in the ways that people experience um, urban environments. Um, Keg D'Souza is a Sydney-based artist who has trained as an architect and I guess she's also interested in the way that architecture can provide utopian possibilities for people. For this project we very much wanted to engage with a new group of people who spend a lot of time in Haymarket and so it was important for us to have a physical space for them to meet with the artists. Um, the ground floor gallery of 4A was converted into, I guess, a community drop-in centre and also a space for the artists to develop the project, working really closely with international students. Ruin Grouper Art Lab were in Sydney for all of July, working with KEG and meeting with a number of international students. One of the key ways that they started thinking about the experience of international students was actually uh, to produce this map of Sydney and ask students to, I guess, annotate the spaces where they spend time and also where they live. For me, one of the most interesting things about the process was actually coming to an understanding that Ruan Grouper, Art Lab and KEG both kind of work in a methodology of design. They're thinking about solution and alternative ways that people can experience space. And so that kind of affected what the exhibition looks like and I guess how the exhibition is also experienced. So there is a number of kind of interactive elements where we're encouraging students to participate in the exhibition, uh, both in the gallery space but also outside in the world. The assemblage of furniture that we've pre presented upstairs is, I think, a way for the artist to work through some of the issues around uh, presentation of private objects. You know, the nature of this exhibition is slightly voyeuristic because we are asking students to be very open with their, their private spaces. Um, and thinking about what it means to then present these objects in a gallery context. Vertical Villages is a project that is working with the international student community around um, Haymarket. Um, I'm kind of interested, I was interested in working on this collaborative project with Ruan Rupa because um, the only thing I really knew about the international student community was the poll posters I'd seen around Sydney. So these posters that sort of advertise shared accommodation but it's shared rooms so there might be six people sharing a room um, and this is the only sort of insight I had into this community before I started this project and I live in Sydney but I have a limited experience of different communities besides my own within Redfern. Um, I sort of do a lot of work around that community but also and the art community and besides that I don't really know much about the people living within Haymarket. There's a huge population here, there's like over 30,000 international students, so to not really have any engagement with that is kind of interesting because I just sort of live down the road in a way. I guess maps sort of mark out, or they sort of leave off everything except one particular thing. And so the maps that we've sort of created, are the thing that we've left on them is the experience of the students. And that's what they've marked on the, there themselves. So it becomes a map of their experience of the city rather than um, all these other things, like the landmarks are maybe a restaurant or maybe a pub or maybe a, a, you know, a club where a lot of the Chinese community goes, for example. So they're really specific landmarks in that way. So basically, Ruang Rupa is an artist initiative collective uh, based in Jakarta. So we exist since 2000s and then we're becoming part of organizations in 2003 because uh, uh, luckily that we get funded in a way. Uh, so in Ruang Rupa, there's like several divisions and one of them is uh, art laboratory uh, divisions. It was before the art laboratory division is not like really there as a part of the division because Ruang Rupa as a practice, uh, we we just like uh, have several uh, programs that deal with uh, artists in residency, uh, art projects, and even workshops. And also, we invite uh, several collaborators that came from abroad and as well in, from Indonesian base. But most of them not only an artist, but they they come from uh, different practices. So that's why it's quite important for us to have these sort of uh, projects together 
as a as a, as a part of uh, our uh, artistic uh, uh, process uh, in Sydney, especially when we know that we could work uh, with the, with 4A as, as well with kegs, and this is part also like the continuation of the uh, project that we're going to develop uh, at the next uh, 15th of Jakarta Biennale in Jakarta next November. Saya mulai dengan uh, membuat desain peta ini berdasarkan dari uh, uh, sebuah peta kota khususnya Sydney dan beranjak dari situ uh, proyek ini memulai dengan uh, beberapa uh, mulai dengan workshop dan kita bertemu dengan beberapa peserta student internasional yang memang mereka uh, beraktivitas di sini dan dari data-data yang ada dari mereka itu uh, saya me membuat uh, bukan membuat sih pertama saya me menyaring semua apa yang ada dat dari datanya terus uh, ditambah dengan apa yang pernah saya lakukan sama seperti mereka uh, menjadi uh, apa uh, tinggal di sebuah apartemen atau kita menyebutnya di Indonesia kos-kosan dan bagaimana cara hidupnya bertahan hidup survive lalu bagaimana mengatur waktu dan bahkan uh, bagaimana mengatur sebuah kamar sendiri lalu saya mendapat beberapa ikon yang memang ini sedikit uh, quite sedikit sulit uh, membayangkan karena ini adalah pengalaman pertama saya berada di Sydney dan itu sangat berbeda dengan kota-kota di Jakarta kota-kota eh, di Indonesia khususnya Jakarta akhirnya ada beberapa ikon yang memang uh, saya pikir ini pas untuk berada di sini dan uh, dan ikon-ikon itu sendiri akhirnya menjadi sebuah narasi yang memang menjadi uh, apa sebuah sebuah cerita yang memang sudah memang sudah apa sudah me, menjadi bagian menjadi bagian dari uh, berdasarkan riset tersebut gitu loh. jadi yang itu sedikit sedikit uh, dari desain ini memang memang ikon itu yang sedikit untuk uh, sedikit susah untuk untuk me, 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 merealisasikannya menjadi sebuah ikon gitu. Sedangkan untuk uh, penempatan karya-karya uh, ini berupa peta, ini adalah tantangan sendiri. So I guess, how do you turn social research or socially driven art practice into an exhibition? Um, a, you know, a lot of the, my projects in the past have worked out of gallery, so um, you know it's always interesting when you um, put something within a gallery. And one of the things that we've been working on is looking at these partitions, like the way that people have have divided up spaces and divided up a bedroom into equal four bed four bedrooms essentially, um, and the, with these makeshift curtains and stuff. So we've made these um, temporary partitions that are inflatable walls. And I guess the nature of inflatables themselves are, have a temporality to them. So they feel really nomadic and transient in themselves. So inherently that structure is like that, but we've used them in this case to kind of divide up a, a room in the gallery to kind of give this um, you know, temporary feeling to that space and divide it up into bedrooms in the, essentially. One of the most interesting things I found was my immediate assumption when I'd been looking at these poll posters was that people did it for economic reasons and just to think about um, people actually doing it for community was really um, a major oversight on, you know, to begin with and it was like, oh, of course, like, you want to live with your friends and you want to feel less isolated, which is something that a lot of the students also spoke about, this feeling of isolation when they arrived to Sydney and I mean, Sydney must seem like a really small city compared to some of the cities that these students come from. Um, you know, it's really quiet around the city at night and, you know, a lot of uh, major cities around the world, there's things happening throughout the night, so it must feel really dead and also isolating. So by being able to live, you know, with friends and with the community, I think that's really interesting. During the development of the project, one of the students that we met was Jeffrey, who is an Indonesian hospitality student that lives in Ultimo. Um, he was 
one of the driving forces, I guess, behind a number of the elements of the exhibition and shared his experience very, in a very personal way. Yeah, I've been in Sydney three months and the very first time I got here, it's like there are so many things that I don't know, some certain access and how to get somewhere and some place and how to make friends here. So I think this project is pretty much like putting up everything, like mapping everything like social network and stuff and the place to hang out and like it's mostly everything that usually students do and it helps direct everyone and putting it into a social outcome. The very first time when I got into 4A I shared a little bit a little things to Toby and Cake and they saw my pictures about these uh, hot pot and stuff and they got pretty excited so uh, we're trying to make a hot pot event. We're trying to host a hot pot event uh, on D4A. So, one thing about hot pot is, you know, I'm glad to do that because I want to share to people about hot pot. There's something about hot pot because people just gather together and they, they're like talking about casual stuff and funny stuff. So, it's like we're building our relationship. So, I want to believe. Uh, the feeling like when we're having a hot pot evening together in this place. Hot pot is basically is like it's a Eastern cuisine. It's from China. So hot pot is some kind of tradition for people, you know, like they're gathering together. I mean, we're eating through a pot and it's boiling water and we're putting all raw meat and seafood inside. Yeah, and it gets cooked and we eat right away, straight away from the pot. And all of the people from in the table shares one pot. So it's where the funny stuff, the, fr uh, the warmth of family or friendship happens there. So it's like a tradition, a ritual of friendship, I would say. It's, it's going to be a really noisy night, you know, because there are meat, beers and mates and food. So that's the thing that the best thing about the flat is the hot pot, I think. The exhibition itself uh, has kind of a cycle or a rhythm to it which in a sense reflects uh, the patterns of movement for international students. You know, they often come from other parts of the region to Australia with an idea of then moving somewhere afterwards. I think one of the most beneficial aspects of the entire project has been our capacity to kind of continue these conversations. So through the house parties where um, constantly having new people come through the space and kind of share new experiences. And I guess this idea of ongoing dialogue is something that we are hoping to take to the Jakarta Biennale.